so asset management this is one of the very important thing very carefully see okay for asset management right what is asset management we need to understand what is asset management first because later days once you are step into it and uh, service no side no? every day you heard something about asset management or cmdb okay there is something called cmdb okay so what it is sir simple right i just to see okay in a simple manner okay what is asset generally don't speak service now or it meanings of asset generally tell okay if i come to your house and tell what is asset what you tell i just visited your house and then i asked your come uh, you i asked you one question can you tell what are the assets you have what is your answers car our games fridge uh, car, yeah yeah uh, stuff gas stove fridge tv tv, TV. okay house house if it is one house house then mind okay mixer grinder right <laughs> whatever you see there i mean that is lands lands okay it is going a little bigger okay lands means property furniture furniture vehicles vehicles car came okay vehicles if any other things are there what else G gold mm, gold mm. what else appliances appliances okay kitchen appliances mm, what else so now i have one okay a uh, pin is it not an asset just a pin i brought it i brought for some purpose okay maybe stitching my okay old clothes for that i brought one okay pin what do you call pin only na okay. asset okay and things which provides benefits we can consider them as assets pin anything can, okay can i consider pin as an asset or not yep yeah we will consider it yes okay so there is no magnitude here okay you are understanding now like everything that you owns is considered as an asset am i right is it correct yes ma yes uh, correct so now if you see an entity of an organization let's say i have sk fax company sk fax is a okay maybe banking company right now if you see this asset you you see everything is an asset okay but when it comes to it part of assets at least a filter all okay you went to all and then you said okay related to it then you see okay there are few assets like softwares okay computers hardwares okay laptops desktops okay so it will go on like this correct licenses so it will go like this so we can consider these things are assets am i right yes yes okay now for skfx company there are so many employees 35000 people are there for them we provided okay desktops or laptops or monitors or something anything okay mainly laptops desktops okay now in i want a place where i need to know for whom it is assigned what do i need to have a record so let's say i, I am a kind of okay i my what is my job is okay i am a kind of contractor where i will i will collect the labor for house construction that's my job every day what i will do is i will go and then there will be bunch of people waiting for me 
I will pick, okay, today I have some work, so I will take 10 people. Okay, and then come, you come, but daily labor 500,000 rupees, something I will pay them. Okay. When I when they come to job, I will give them some assets. Maybe the plumbing assets or digging assets or constructing assets, whatever it is. I don't know the names exactly. Okay, let's say. While, okay, I'm giving them, maybe I will maintain a book like, okay, uh, this, okay, cutter cutter given to this guy. Will I maintain some record? A ledger? Will I maintain or will not I maintain? I should maintain, correct? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. So, we need to maintain some database, correct? So, in IT also, when an employee joins to a company, the company will provide him a laptop. He is a labor. Company given him an asset. So he has used the laptop. When he is going out, he will need to submit the laptop. So where we are tracking it, where we are documenting it, how many laptops we have it first, how which laptop is assigned to whom next, what laptop is uh, installed with how many applications, okay, how many applications we have, how many licensed applications we have, where we are capturing all the information. Okay. That information and all will go and store in one big family of tables that's called CMDB. Okay, now you go here, okay, and you just type, okay, CMDB. Or, sir, I don't know the terminology, it is first time, okay. What you do is what you want to look for computers now, just to go and say computers, softwares, laptops, desktops, okay, right. So configuration that is belongs to CMDB, okay, computers. So just click computers. Now, in my organization, I have these many computers. Okay, maybe it is they are assigned to, okay, maybe some people also assigned to also will be there somewhere. Okay, this computer is assigned to a person, okay. And it have some laptops, okay, sorry, it have some applications installed. Everything about the computer will be as maintained here so it's a simple database service now is also a database correct where i can store my data am i right yes sir yes so for asset management as someone given a requirement okay for him what i will do is i will tell all the story which you don't know then i need to tell like we already have it a predefined or out of the box component of service now called CMDB database. CMDB is not service mode related. Very carefully understand it. Okay. When we were started learning the course, people will scream like, okay, she is, teach me CMDB, teach me CMDB. Why? Because they see in somewhere in job portal. That's it. They don't even know what is CMDB and how far we use in CMDB. Okay. So generally there is an impression that service now, CMDB is the component of service now. No. Service now is a tool that supports CMDB model to store. Okay. Now I have a computer detail here and the computer is assigned to this guy and the computer details are here. Okay. And how many softwares are installed in this computer also here. So in this computer, these many softwares are installed. So where software installation, software details will store. CMDB underscore CA underscore APPL or SPKAG package. Right? Computers are going here. Okay. This one is going here and the relationship will go somewhere. Same like adding user to group. You are able to visualize it now? Yes. Right? Okay. So for him, what is my answer is, sir, we don't create any specific application for you. We already have the CMDB component in service. Now we will use it. This is what we will, I will say from service now side. Is that correct answer? Yes. Yes. Everyone, yes. Now we also understand yes, what is CMDB little bit. The definition of CMDB at least here. What is expected from CMDB? Yes. Understood by everyone? 
Yes, sir. Okay. So now, if we just go little deeper, okay, how many tables we have, sir? Okay, so just go to tables. That means here I opened one. What table it is storing? Ma? The computer table is going and storing in CMDB underscore CA underscore computer. Okay, application details are going under CMDB underscore CA underscore S yes, something. Okay, the relationships are going in a separate table. So, do we have some set of tables for CMDB, sir? Yes. Okay, so now there are big, this is one of the very biggest family. Right, we just go here. You have how many tables here? Four, seven, five, one tables are there. Okay. Now, how many CMDB tables are there here? Just to go and type CMDB. Okay. Started name starts with CMDB filter. Okay. Enter. Right. And okay. Sorry. We can also give one more okay, exact one. Okay. Right. So these many these many tables are there those are related to support cmdb database okay now what we told now just now now that is one of these many tables okay if i just say computer then you will get somewhere computer and application okay so cmdb underscore ca underscore com so computer will come here somewhere this is the table which we see in that entry okay then application APPL right so application table will be there right along with that there are so many things also there okay everything can be documented it is a version CMDB is a version the concept of CMDB is a big book okay where we don't need to learn that book what we know is something little part sub part of it Okay, when time comes i will tell right generally the, the impression is people will like okay they will expect like okay so everyone are asking cmdb so i want to learn cmdb okay if we want to learn cmdb no cmdb it's a separate book it's not service no book you need to go somewhere and then get that book and then read those definitions are different what we use service now cmdb is different that layer we will understand at least something okay good clear everyone okay this part is clear okay it's justified my answer is justified for this yes the answer is yes but i don't create a new application for him i will suggest to use the existing applications correct